Testing, testing, one, two, three. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Afro Ronin himself, Samurai Black, back at it again with another with another video. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I did uh, a news update video, but um, unfortunately, we got some bad news in the entertainment industry. The Boondocks reboot for 2022 has officially been put back on the shelf. As to why it's been put back on the shelf, well, according to multiple sources, such as Complex News, uh, comedy hype news and uh, comicbook.com. Uh, the voice actor for Thomas Dubois basically stated that uh, Sony and HBO Max decided to pull the plug in uh, doing the reboot of the Boondocks. Now, he stated that he really won, he was really excited into doing this project, and so were others, but things didn't work out the way it was supposed to be, so they just decided to shelve it. Now, me personally, oh yeah, and I will have a, a, a couple links in the description below and also a video, so make sure you go check that out as well. As a matter of fact, go ahead and go ahead and check check out what he said specifically. Roll the clip. And so there you have it. Oh, and if you're wondering what's that noise in the background, uh, I'm inside my car. I'm recording in my car right now. And uh, it's pretty cold out here, so I'm just warming it up. But anywho, uh, my personal thoughts on it, I think this is the simply the best way to uh, go about it. And there are some very good reasons as to why uh, they put the Boondocks back on the shelf. So, for starters, as we all know, the late great John Witherspoon has passed away in the year 2019 after announcing that the boondocks was coming back and suffering a heart attack now this broke the hearts of many fans and of course, over the course of his family as well the second reason why uh it's been shelf is because john jd witherspoon the son of john with the son of john witherspoon stated that they basically disrespected him by uh, hiring another act, another actor to play the voice of Granddad, as to who is commonly unknown. Uh, but basically, they asked him to um, do some, uh, basically do some lines, some voices of Granddad, because in reality, JD actually sounds just like his grand. I mean, not his grand, just like his father. So unfortunately. Um, yeah, unfortunately, they got someone else. They dogged him out. And J.D. Witherspoon basically talked about his experience with the production crew. And I'm going to post a link. I'm going to post a link to those two videos. One was the long version and one is the short version of what ha really happened behind the scenes. And, uh, of course, over and of course, uh, a lot of fans were pissed off at that. And me personally, I had to agree with them. Um... And the third and final reason as to why it's not coming back is because, unfortunately, Regina King's son has passed away from suicide. So my heavy condolences to her and the family, and and um, I'm very, very terribly sorry about her loss. So I hope everything goes well for her specifically. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Also, uh, notice that when, oh yeah, notice when the voice of Tom Dubois stated that um, it's not being worked on right now, which means there's a possibility that the Boondocks may return. It's just not coming back as of this moment right now. So there may be a future. And yes, Aaron Magruder was supposed to be the uh, head right head executive for the show so we'll see how, how it goes anyway um that's all for this news update 
update. Thank you for 16 plus, and thank you for 16 plus subscribers. I really appreciate that. If you see me on TikTok, make sure you go check it out at Samurai underscore Black 96. Yep, that's my name. Anywho, peace and blessing, guys. I'll see you guys. See y'all next time. Peace.